I say yo, welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling. And the topic today is wrestling. More importantly, Rapungi 3K finally breaks up, you feel me? Now, a lot of people probably don't watch New Japan, you feel me? But there's a lot of people that probably do. So, for the people that do, New Japan has had this team called Rapungi 3K, you feel me? Rocky Marrero led them. It was like the branch off from Rapungi Vice, you feel me? So he was like their manager. Now it was Sho and Yo. Sho, they was damn near like complete opposites, you feel me? Sho was like a quiet, muscular assassin, you feel me? And Yo was the outgoing one. Now, they've been around for about five years, you feel me? I feel like they made their debut 2016, 2017, you feel me? They used to be the Tempora boys in Ring of Honor when they was on excursion. So he came back with Punky 3K. Now, they won the Super Junior Tag League three years in a row. Literally three years in a row, you feel me? Now, say what you want about New Japan. Their, tag, their Junior Tag Division and their Heavyweight Tag Division is their two biggest, two biggest weak points, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Their Tag Division sucks. I ain't gonna hold you. And I like G.O.D., but... <clears throat> Excuse me. They don't have nobody consistent to wrestle with. You feel me? Like, they had Tanahashi and um, Kota Bushi as a tag team. They two singles wrestlers. They got Tai Chi and um, Zack Sabre Jr. That's a good tag team, but they're not all that. Then they got Sonata Naito. That's not a real team. They broke up Evil and Sonata. You feel me? So they be always been lacking in tag divisions, bro. And then when New Japan, then when AW and NXT started taking everybody, they lost all the junior heavyweights. You feel me? So they've been rebuilding the junior heavyweight division, but they take all the junior heavyweights and put them in this tag tournament. You feel me? So they've been around. They've definitely reached their peak. You feel me? They've definitely reached their peak as far as all they could do with Rapunky 3K. They definitely did. And if we being honest, show. I don't. I, I feel like he's better. I do feel like he's better. You feel me? I do feel like he's better than yo. I do. Probably not by a lot, but I do feel like he's better than him. And I feel like once yo came back from his injury, they just put him back in the tag team. You feel me? Like, they never went all in on show. You feel me? Because of the tag team. Now he turned heel on him. I expect them to do good. Now, what's this? August? They should not be still wrestling come Wrestle Kingdom. Against the Wrestle Kingdom, they both should be doing something different. Now, because Rapungi 3K was a, a chaos group, I imagine that Yo stays with chaos, you feel me? Now, Sho, on the other hand, I would not put him in Suzuki Goon, and I would not put him in Bullet Club, because everybody goes in Bullet Club. I would then just put him in the United Empire, Gangster. Will Ospreay is already in America doing his thing, so they already feel weak with Jeff Cobb, Great O'Conn, and um, Hanare. That's the only people they got, you feel me? That's the weakest half stable. So I feel like if they put Sho in there, that's dope. Gangster, that's dope. That's dope. Because I thought they would put Robbie Eagles in there, but they didn't. They didn't put Robbie Eagles in the United Empire. So I definitely imagine them putting Sho in there. Now you got a junior heavyweight, you feel me? That's just my opinion, though. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more.